Thank How you. do we have more love in our hearts? By loving. <laughs> By loving. And it is not how much you give, but how much love you put in the giving. And for love to be true has to hurt. Those in the church who would say that your role should be to change conditions rather than to comfort those who are victims of those conditions. I'm not trying to change anything. I'm only trying to to give my love and the need that the person needs then, that moment. Somebody said to me, Why do you give them the fish to eat? Why don't you give them the rod to catch the fish? And I said, our people, they can't stand. Either they are hungry, or they are diseased, or disabled. They cannot stand. Still less are they able to hold their rod. But what I do, I give them the fish to eat. And when they are strong enough, I will hand them over to you, and you give them the rod to catch the fish. Will you be traveling out the countries in the coming years? I, I'm hoping to, we have our sisters all over the world, so I'm hoping to visit them. Mother, if we're not called to work with the poor, then how can we be served if we're not called to go into poverty? Oh, you have the poor right in your own house. Love begins at home. You may not have the hunger or, of the hungry, but then maybe you may have your child who is a little bit disabled. Maybe you have your husband who is worried about. These are sufferings in the right in the house. And like one day uh, in Venezuela, a family gave us a plot of land, and I went to thank the family. And then um, I saw in the in the family that the most disabled child, terribly disabled. Then I asked the mother. I said, what is the name of the child? And she said, we call him Professor of Love because he keeps on teaching us how to love. Mother Teresa, with all, everything that you've seen and all the people who are poor and hungry and lepers, have you ever been discouraged in all the years before? No, no reason. No reason. Because it is my love for Jesus in action. Today, America seems to be wanting to do less and less for poor and less disadvantaged, and certainly that's the, the government position. What does this say to you about? Yeah, America? I don't. I can't say that because we get a tremendous amount of help through CRS uh, from the people of America, and with the food that we receive, and the medicine we receive, and milk we receive, and so on. Uh, we are feeding thousands of people. So it is the generosity of the people of America that are sharing the joy of loving through our hands. In what way do you share the love of Jesus in America differently than you would in India? Uh, this is different because our people there, maybe they are hungry for bread, for rice, but our people here are hungry for love. The shut-ins, like we have in, in New York, the sisters are... And then we have people, the, the disabled people, the drunkards, the people like that, that sisters are even having a meal with them, for them. We have a home for the homeless people. They can come and rest a while with us and so on. It's a different way, but it's the same love. Mother, is it true that you hate doing poverty insurance like this? And at one time you asked the Pope if you could be left in India to work and not do yeah. Naturally, this is not a natural way for us, you know. <laughs> I would prefer to be with the with our people, with our poor people, be with them. That is I would prefer that. But this is also one way of my showing my love for Jesus by Mother Teresa, can you minister to the poor, in the house of the dying, have you been able to bring them to Jesus? Yes, yes, oh yes. Nobody, everybody has died in peace with God, in the love of God. Like one of them that just lately, he, we brought him from the street, and after we helped him to, to, to love God and to be with God, and he said, we give him a blessing, and he said, sister, I'm going home to God, and he died. 
Beautiful. Yes. Mr. So Mr. there's. Is there much interaction in your work in India with other denominations, ministers, and? Oh, we work very closely together. Very, very, very closely. That's the most beautiful thing in Calcutta, in is that, India. Is that a recent thing? Have no. You seen that in it has increased since we have started the work. It, even same thing with the government. Government appreciates the work very much, and we have we receive every possible facility. Uh, for example, the government has given me uh, all India um, pass on the plane. I can travel in any part of India free. And for our sisters, the railway. These are things, special things that of, of love and appreciation. And I'm hoping that I'll get something here also, like that free pass. <laughs> what is the greatest message you have for America? Love one another as God loves each one of you. I think that. And give your hands to serve and your hearts to love. <coughs> Some words, we are human beings, we need to use words, no? And like a husband and wife, they, how do they express their love for each other? Sometimes they keep silent, sometimes they talk, sometimes a little bit louder. Same thing with Jesus. No? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mother Teresa, did you always have the coming? How old were you when you decided you wanted to become, to devote your life to God? Uh, <coughs> the, when I joined, can I became a nun. When did you decide to do that? Were you always devoted to God? I was. When you were uh, younger, were you I joined. Uh, first vocation I was when I was 12 years old, and then I joined when I was 18. And I have been the happiest nun in the world, I think, <laughs> for 50, 52 years now. <laughs> Thank you. Now we'll pray. And one thing I ask you to do, you people who have the pain in your hand, allow God to use you so that you never write anything that will destroy, that will hurt. But always write, always take the trouble to write something beautiful, to help the people to see better, to love better, to come closer to each other. There are many beautiful things happening in the world, beautiful things, terrible things also, but very, very many beautiful things that people never speak about it. And so I think it is very, I, I, I ask you to do that. Pick up those few beautiful things and bring them before the eyes of the people. That will bring new light. Because Jesus said, I am the light for you to light. I am the life for you to live. I am the truth for you to tell. I am the word for you to speak. And so put that into your writing because you can make people and you can break people. And it is beautiful to make people into something beautiful for God. God bless you.